Okay, we're going to start laying our bottom plates here. And the method that we have come up with to do this uh, is we have snapped the inside dimension of this treated board. So the sit panel wall is six and a half inches thick. So we know that our slab was not square because we checked it this morning. So what we did was we came up with a square dimension of our inside dimensions of our bottom plates. We are going to cantilever a hair bit in spots, but it's still manageable and it is what happens during construction. A lot of times that thing's not going to be square, how are we going to deal with it? Of course we want it as square as possible, but in this case we've got a little bit to deal with. So the first thing that we're going to do is lay a bead of sustent manis bond underneath the sill sealer. Uh, I want to tell you that a lot of guys don't like sill sealer because on a test sometimes it'll show up as a as a line where air is coming through. But what it does is it basically gives you a breathing area so that the bottom of that plate can dry out if it ever gets wet. And uh, the thing that we want to do is stop air infiltration. So that's why the Sustin product is so important for us because we are stopping and we're creating gaskets basically wherever we're putting it. So I'm simply going to start laying a, a bead of caulk and we are going to run the sill sealer along this line and we're going to keep our chalk line so we know that we're, where we're at. We're going to run one really good bead down this wall. Put a good bead down there. One really good, nice bead. Don, let's, we're going to set sill sealer. We're simply going to set the sill seal on that inside line so that we can always see that line. We don't care that it's exactly straight, but we do care that our board is straight on there. Okay, just giving you a little lesson on a sausage pack gun. This one we've had for a couple months. Bring it out to a lot of job sites because it's very slick. You simply have the remainder of the sausage pack. This one's been in a couple days so it's a little hard. Just toss it away for right now. Pull that back. Put the tube in. Put this back on push it up so that the tube is there and you do not have to poke the end of the tube at all and it'll start flowing immediately again we're gonna put a really good bead on here and we have it down so we can lay one treated plate here I want to also mention this corner right here this is the one we're starting at panel 3 and panel 4 we are doing it the opposite way, so we're running the treated plate all the way out to this corner. Between the two plates, 
we are going to put a bead of Manus Bond to seal that air joint between the two. Then you'll notice that by putting it down, we've created the gasket from the sill seal to the Manus Bond. Now we'll lay this plate in here. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are going to demonstrate putting together a corner. And we're putting the actual sill plate onto the treated plate. And we have uh, chalked our lines. Now this is a six and a half inch wall. The treated plate six and a half inches. So we actually measured from this inside corner out to six inches. That's where we're gonna lay our whiteboard that we have all pre-ready to go over the, the, the leg bolts. Now notice on the drawing how the panels are going through here. We have this one coming all the way through. So we're going to run this board all the way to the outside edge of here. Just like it shows on the drawing. And then we're going to bring this one. We're going to leave a gap in between there and I'll show you that shortly. First thing we're going to do is put our sip seal down on top of the treated plate. And we are going to use plenty of it here. Always creating our gasket. Running two beads on top of this plate. It is a sealant, but it's also adhesive. Yep. Here I'm changing. Putting the continuous beads. Continuous means this. It doesn't mean that you go a little bit and miss a little bit. You're going to make sure you connect those beads. That is the true meaning of what we do. We get that exactly right because you are air sealing as you are putting it down. Okay, now notice yeah. how we've got this all the way to the outside of that plate. And we've got it lined up with our, our six inch line right here. We have these screws. These are three inch RSS screws. They are fantastic. Our, uh, we have them in the, boxes like this and I will guarantee that most panel companies will not put that into their package. Uh, we believe in these screws because it is holding down that plate. So in high winds and all different types of forces these screws are what's holding down your house. So we simply put them 12 inches on center staggered just like this all the way down the line. Now in this corner just looking back at our panel drawing we have this panel coming short of this one, so we want to actually create a gap right here. And I like to leave it about 5 eighths of an inch away. So you'll notice we got this little gap so this panel can run through. Now we are going to glue this again. Always creating that gasket. leaving that gap right there so that this panel can slide through easily. We're just again matching our chalk line. Watch the glue ooze out of there. That's how you know you're getting a seal. So when you got that stuff coming out. If we look over the top of this plate, you can see how we have so that the panel can straddle over the top of the whiteboard. And we have it perfectly on right now, ready to set our corner.